Anasol Rogers Memorial Lecture Series is the brainchild of Dr. Marjorie Brooks Jones, the chair of the School of English Studies. She works tirelessly each year to ensure success of this event. Dr. Marjorie Brooks Jones will come now to do the introductions. Dr. Brooks Jones. Good evening, everyone. Some 30 years ago, the Literature Department of the Human Humanities Division invited a Caribbean writer to visit. He hailed from Jamaica, his name John Hearn. He gave a public lecture, and I remember being struck at the time by the number of people who came to hear him. I also remember his giving a series of seminars to English majors and being surprised when I took Mr. Hearn for the first time to meet them, for it was all too obvious that they had emptied Nassau of every available tape recorder. Since 1979, those of us who love English literature and the English language, standard and Creole, and aware of the hunger for opportunities to hear different voices, have invited a variety of persons to speak, members of our own community, and writers and scholars passing through the Bahamas on their way to elsewhere. The response has been such that a few years ago, in 2006, the idea of creating a lecture series took root and we decided to name it in honor of Anatole Rogers, a great Bahamian educator. With her children lending their support, we have established a forum in which Bahamians and visitors may listen to and engage in conversation with internationally recognized scholars, writers, and cultural critics. Our speakers have one thing in common, they are interesting people with interesting things to say. They choose not to exercise the right to be banal. Tonight's speaker, Mr. Walcott, is no exception, for to him, banality of idea and of expression is anathema. It occasions no surprise, therefore, to realize that two of the qualities that have informed Mr. Walcott's life and work are a ferocious intellect and rigorous commitment to art, the dedication to artistic endeavor, which entails being a practitioner of craft. Poets, says Mr. Walcott, write the same words over and over. We write the word glass, we write the word book, we write the word bread, and we can keep writing poems in which these words are, but it takes a particular instant of illumination 